Ray here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Today we're going to review a box I got from a store, online store called Superhero Stuff. Now, Superhero Stuff, um, what does it they call itself? World's largest superhero store. So they carry like everything's got superhero emblems on it, like t shirts, licenses, keychains, hats, blah, 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 blah. But they also provide boxes based upon certain characters. And I got, can you guess it? Batman box, that's right. So let's roll through these. Now these boxes are $40, $49, sorry. Yeah, 49 it's it's actually more expensive, or actually the price stays the same whether you go with a small shirt or like me, 3X. So that's kind of nice. That's $49 for the box itself. So let's take a roll through this box. There's some cool stuff in here. I like. Oh, and they also they carry like um, packs of comics and stuff that are not like specialty comics or anything. They're just like a bunch of comics that they put in a pack with a base theme. Like you'll get a bunch of Batman comics and they'll send them to you and you pay for that and so on and so forth. So what you start out with is they sent me a comic, Batman theme, of course, and it's Robin 44. Which is the. This isn't Jason Todd. This is. Uh, can't remember. Brain's not working. I'll put it up on there. Like I usually do. Let you know. I mean, it's nothing special. It's just a regular comic. You know, you're paying $1.95 on it, but it's probably less. It's probably like a buck twenty-five now. You can buy it at a comic store. The uh, next thing something for your car. Batman license plate holder. It's pretty cool. Wouldn't put it on the car. It'd get damaged. It's just plastic. Hard and plastic. If I hang it up here somewhere. Then I gotta say they they box this box up really good, which I really like. And then they had good wrapping on the inside. And I'm glad they did because they also send a glass. Batman. It's like the old style that you could buy back in the 70s, 80s. Batman on the back, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's not a cheap glass when it's it's solid. That's a nice that's a nice glass. Then they throw in <laughs> spenders. Batman spenders. I don't know. How many people really wear spenders anymore? I mean that's kind of old style stuff. But they're kind of cool. I mean, if you if you're into uh, going to some party and you got like a suit on, and you throw your old spenders on, or you go into some, I probably will never wear them. But the girls might might give them to them, see if they want. Them. Then you get into the smaller stuff, and they like to send them to you, so we can rattle through these real quick. First off, Batman playing cards, back from the TV show. Which is kind of cool. I mean, I like getting cards that are have specific themes. You know, I got some NFL ones. I got some other ones that I just find. I really don't have a a preference. Really, it's just like that looks kind of cool. I'll take that. And these are kind of cool. I probably won't open them up. I'll keep them in the pack. No sense in damaging them. And it's got 52 unique images from the Batman classic TV series. So no image is the same on each card. Well, that's kind of cool. You don't usually see that. Usually it's like, you know, half of them are this style, then the other half are the same style. But this one says that they're all unique. That's pretty awesome. Then we got, I should take this out of the pack. Let me take it out of the pack in here because I'm going to hang it up. It's a magnet. And I got a magnet like this before with a rocket. And I like these magnets because they are, ah, I'm getting out. It's a heavy plastic magnet, or rubber, rather, I'm sorry, rubber, Batman. It's like real heavy. And those soft touch, oh, well, PVC magnet. I suppose I should read my stuff before I start talking my, my jaws off. But I like these magnets, they're really cool. Flexible, you can throw them on, you know, don't have to worry about them getting damaged, falling off, what have you. They're a little heavier, I like that. Then you got the Batman 
bottle opener. You got the Batman symbol in the front. Opener on the back. I don't know. Is that really going to... How much good that'll do you because you're going to be trying to hold on to the salt. And it's nice for what in your pocket, but you got to hold it out and pop it off. You know, keychain looks, works a little better than that, but it's still kind of cool because it's Batman, of course. So that's kind of neat. Then you send in these little buttons. Like, I'm a Batman crime fighter. I think that came from the. Uh, back in the day, there used to be like a little club, crime fighter club, Batman for the kids. And you get one of those. Or something like that. I don't know if it was exactly those. And then I hate the Joker. Just little buttons. Kind of surprised because they they value these buttons. Where was it now? They put them in a dollar seventy five. Is what they're selling them for. I mean, really? They're they're like little buttons. Yeah, they got Batman on them, but couldn't you get them like seventy five cents somewhere? So, but it's it's a it's an online store. Their prices are always going to be higher because they're selling stuff. And then the last thing, which I like, which is pretty cool, is if I can get it up right, a Batman shirt. And it's got like the old one that they put up like on the moon. You get the gray stuff on there. You got the nice black. It's a really cool shirt. I like that. It's a. Uh, Made by DC, so it's got a label on there. 100% cotton, of course. So it'll shrink. It's, yeah, I'd say it's a lightweight one, because I can see right through it on one section. I can actually, yeah, I can see right through both layers. So it's it's one of the ones that everybody likes lighter cotton. You know, as you know, I like the heavy cotton because it holds up the time. But this is still a cool shirt. I like this. I like the symbol on it. It's awesome. I think Batman. So that is it. That is what they give you. It's quite a bit of stuff, actually. And it's a wide variety of things. And like I say, they have boxes. It's called the Hero Box. Um, they send you a little card that kind of labels everything and it shoots you a price based on what they sell it on. And they give you the question marks like the shirt was on this one and what was the other one? Oh, the comic was the other question mark. So I'm sure that's probably what they give you. So what? Sorry, I forget. Well, I know if you go if you go on the site all the time, they've got like a million different coupons you can add on at the end. You know, like you buy $60 worth, you get a free shirt or, you know, you get a percentage off if you buy so much money. But they've got a lot of coupons on there. And then they send you a coupon here. They probably send you a coupon with it all the time. And this one's for 15% off, you know, a 40 or plus. So that's pretty cool because you can buy the shirts. The shirts are expensive, of course, but they're superhero shirts specifically. And from the looks of it, they come from the company. Like that one was DC made shirt. So what you pay for it, $49 plus shipping, which could be $8, depending on where you live, it's going to depend. And um, so if you give a rough estimate, you're probably paying high $50, $60. Low sixty dollars probably for it, and the value if you go off their pricing on here and their pricing on their thing that what they charge, you're um, you'd be paying like seventy dollars for all that. Uh, like I say, I don't know you could probably find it cheaper somewhere else, but according to their pricing, and it's really not that bad. It's cool, it comes in a cool box. I like the site; they got some cool stuff there. Of course, there's clearance. You can always get clearance. Plus, you get the coupons. So that'll knock your prices down even more. So I would recommend checking it out. If I had to give this box a grade, even though it's not a subscription box, it's still a cool box. I would probably put it about a B because there's some cool stuff in there. Um, a couple things I like. I like the t-shirt a lot. Uh, the playing cards are pretty cool. Uh, spenders I probably won't use, but they would be, actually I could probably use them for like, you know, like I do these tags. Where I keep all my buttons on and just spend stuff on that so it's not a bad box check it out you might find some shirts some hats whatever you like it's definitely worth a look so you know the box is a B the value you know you're getting more than what you paid for it according to their numbers so it's worth going I would do it 
I'd probably get another box. It'd be fun just to see what they give me. So, as always, like, unlike, comment below. Subscribe if you're interested. Let me know what you want to see. If there's any boxes that you've looked at and I don't have, I can tell you if I'm, I'm subscribed to them. And you want to check them out before you buy them, I'll gladly do that because, you know, if I can help you find a good box without you having to spend the money, it's worth it. We'll do that. So until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks.